In this example, we're going to be looking at a hexagonal prism. Hexagonal. Because its base is a hexagon. Prism. Because it's made up of a stack of those hexagons. Now, unlike the triangle example we've already talked about, this one's stacked like I might normally expect. So perhaps I have some game tokens that are all hexagonal in shape, and I stack them up to create this object. Now, it's a regular hexagon with a side length of 10, and the height of the overall prism is 11. When I go to draw the net that goes with this, I'm going to have a hexagon as one side of it. I'll have a lateral area wrapping around the piece. What I'm really looking at with that, one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles all lined up, then another hexagon there. So there's the top and the bottom, and this lateral area wrapping around. Now, I could also look at that as six individual rectangles. That strategy still works. Now, in this lateral, it's 11 tall. So there's my 11 for how tall it is. Each of these pieces is 10, going across. So when I look at this, I can say, well, let's go ahead and just get one net area. So that means I've got 60 units all the way across. 60 would be 6 times 10. There are 6 areas, each one 10 units long. Now you could, again in calculating your areas, simply take 10 by 11 and then multiply that final answer by 6 or add it together 6 times to represent each of those 6 surfaces. The lateral area cuts that step out and says, let's picture this as a wrapped around piece that I can lay out flat. So, 60, and now I've got this 11 going on. So that net area there, 60 by 11, is going to put me at, I want to say 660, but I'm going to double check just to be sure. Yep, 660. 660 units. Now so that's that rectangle there in the middle. Now I gotta deal with my caps. Using tangent and the apothem that I can find with it, and all the work that we did in chapter nine, I can find the area of a regular polygon with a side length of 10 to be 260 units, give or take. So that also means this has an area of 260 units because they match. So once I have those, I can go ahead and add all of the areas together, and that'll give me the total surface area. You want to review the area of a regular polygon. It's not going away. But for this example, we're not going to spend the time on that. I recommend you go look back at the Chapter 9 material for refreshers on how to take a hexagon with a side length of 10 and come up with the area. Remember, you're going to use tangent in your work. So now I've got my 260 here, my 260 here, my 660 here. So 660 for the lateral, which is the wraparound area, plus 260, which is the base. And I'll add another 260 as my top. Put them all together. Plus 260, plus 260. Final answer, 1,180 square units. And that represents the sum of these three individual areas, the top, the bottom, and the lateral. Or you could look at this as eight individual spaces, my top, my bottom, and my six rectangles going around, each of those rectangles having an area of 110. There are six of them. See so in the back of that 660 value. Whatever strategy you like is the one you want to use.